This is ZDK's Morning Cup, 97.1 FM. Good morning. It's Monday, the 8th of June. You're listening to ZDK and State Insurance Morning Cup. It's Monday. And I thought of a really good way to start the week. We've got to start the week with a happy note. And I've been so looking forward to this. Now, in 2003, Joanne Hillhouse had a really great idea and she set up with Dadley Penn. It's all about our incredible writers and talent here in Antigua and Barbuda. If you haven't looked at with Dadley Penn, look at the website now. But one of the things that she was inspired to do was set up the with Dadley Penn Challenge to bring forward some of our young and very talented writers. And my guest today in the studio with me, which makes it extra special, is Cheyenne Daru, who won the first prize, joint won the first prize of the Wadadley Pen Challenge 2020. Good morning, Shan. Good morning. Congratulations to you. Wow, what a what a, uh, a prodigious thing to win. Thank you. So tell me, tell me a little bit about this. What made you enter your story in the in the challenge? What made me enter the story in the challenge is that at church, we, I am a part of the Quality Generation Ministry, and every year. The adults encourage us to write and enter the Wadali pen. Well, it's certainly a good job you did. So that was so it's inspired by your church. Yes. And I know your mother gave you every support, didn't she? Yes, she did. You must be so proud, Natasha. Yes, I am. Yes, you have a very talented daughter. Now, Cheyenne, what made you write? Tell us about the story. What's the story called? The story is called Tom the Ninja Crab. And what made you write, write this? What made me write this is that I love to go to the beach and I sail and I just love nature in general. But did you say you sail? Yes. Where do you sail? I sail at the Nelson Dockyard. Is that with uh, Carl James or the National Sailing Academy? The National Sailing Academy. Oh, cool. So do you, have, you, have you ever done the swimming down there with, with Richard and me? You haven't done the swimming down at the, in, no, in, at the Sailing Academy. Is the Sailing Academy open again now? Not to my knowledge. Okay, well, let's hope they open up soon. Oh, wow, I, we could talk about sailing, but no, we're here to talk about your story. So, could you, would you like to read us your story? Sure. It is called Tom the Ninja Crab. It was a clear, still night. The moon shone so brightly through the waters that Tom the Crab couldn't sleep. Suddenly, he saw a beautiful sight. A bright red light moved along the shore and threw down into the water a long flame. Be being a, a curious crab, Tom swam towards the shore and met a light as it stopped over a rock. There underneath the light laid six great salmon looking at the flame with their great googly eyes, waggling their tails as if they were pleased with it. Tom climbed on the rock and looked at the wonderful light. He heard a voice say, forget the rules. We have to sell the salmon to make a living. Another voice saying, if we do that, the animal safety controls, we are breaking the law. We can only hunt two animals per week or else spend 52 years in prison. I am willing to risk it. The money is worth it. Tom saw the two men scoop up the salmon and put them in a cooler and rowed away in their boat. Tom jumped on a rock and followed the boat to see what they would do with the salmon. The men stopped the boat and ran up on the sand to a shack. Tom jumped out of the water, clacking his claws. I am Tom the Ninja Crab. Let the salmon go. Hee <laughs> hee. Instead, they caught him mid-ear and put him in the cooler with the salmon. Don't worry, Tom said to the whimpering salmon. I will save you. We will not stay in this cooler forever. Wait for me. I am coming back. Using his claws, Tom punched a hole in the cooler and jumped over the edge of the boat in the water. He surfaced and saw the men talking on a cell phone. A taxi pulled up. They jumped in. They jumped in with the cooler still talking on the cell phone. Tom was tired, 
but then he felt a trap on the back of his shell and before he knew it he was flying in the air held tightly on beak of a fidget bird my name is freddy and you once saved me from being cooked by a group of boys i can still remember one of them crying in the pain of you pinching his nose hold on follow the taxi freddy cried tom freddy followed the taxi until it stopped at st john's market he lay just outside the market street entrance and gently lowered tom onto the ground then he rose into the ear and flew off into the night thank you freddy cried tom the two men jumped out of the taxi and the cooler with the cooler sorry they placed it on a table and started to shout come by your salmon fresh from the sea tom leaped on the table and the people screamed as started running one lady punched over the cooler and the salmon fell into a bucket of water that was locking nearby the table halt in the name of the law a woman and a man in the army safety patrol uniform grabbed the men and handcuffed them they put the salmon back into the cooler you get these little guys back into the water said the man and i will take these men into the station tom followed the woman across the street through the fishes stalled and heard the splash satisfied he jumped and he as he swam away, he began to sing. I am Tom the Ninja Crab. Don't mess with me. Don't trouble my friends or I'll deal with you. You don't know when. he ha <laughs> Cheyenne, that's beautifully read as well. What a great story. And you know, there's some amazing um, metaphors and things in here and one of the things I picked out that just was when you said about the salmon looking at the flame with their great googly eyes wagging their tails as if they were pleased with it you're going to be a writer aren't you yes that, that was really marvelous and you read it beautifully and I think it's worth pointing out that not only did you win the um for the 12 and 7 to 12 age category but you were also the joint winner of the main prize which makes you the first youngest winner to um be a winner of the main prize and it's never been tied before and um, I'm you know I'm hoping to get some of the other writers on there but yours yeah I can see why you won the main prize it's great and um do you would you like to be a writer yeah some dear someday yeah. sorry we've got some great some great metaphors some great illusions in there yeah I, uh, that's, I wanted to laugh out loud in fact I did let a laugh escape me at one point <laughs> but you and your mother and I Natasha and I were trying looking at each other as you read them laughing at all the bits weren't we Natasha so it's got a real sense of humour here. Indeed. Um, and I, you probably don't know, but one of the things I like doing, rather badly, is drawing. Not brilliantly, but I like drawing cartoons. So I'm going to draw you a cartoon of Tom the Ninja Crab and the Salmon, and I will send it to you and, um, as a kind of prize from ZDK. Great, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, Tasha, um, you obviously encouraged Cheyenne to write. Yes, both people parents myself and my husband encourage her as well as the ministry the vibrant faith ministries that's what they do yearly encourage the quality generation children to be a part of what that depend to exercise their talents and their strengths and their skills fantastic and that's just what is needed here this talent and the encouragement Cheyenne what, would, what do you think's next for you well I don't really know but I think I can I can continue being a writer and just see where it takes me throughout the years. And when, when's back at school? Um, I Do think it's going to open at September 7th or something. Oh, right. So you've got until then off. Lots of writing time. Well, you, you have a real time. You really do have a talent for it, Shayan. And I, I love that story. And any story that makes you laugh out loud like that is going to be good. So please stick with it. Please stick with it. And um, what are your plans for the summer holiday once we're allowed to get out and about? I think I will 
see if I can go sailing on Saturdays because I love to sail. Well, that's good. I've, I've noticed on Saturday now that um, Carl James down at the yacht club, they were the, the kids were going out on the boats, of course, because they're single boats. All you know, easy to do the um, social distancing and apply the protocols. So I hope that Elizabeth will be opening the sailing academy very soon. It's um, sad to see the boats all sitting there unused. So I, ho I hope, um, and we might see you down there because Richard and I, Richard, mainly now because I'm doing the, I work on a Saturday, doing uh, the introduction to water safety for kids, water confidence. So on Saturday mornings, he's down there as well in the little pool. So we might, I shall tell him to look out for you. And if you see a big guy with a kind of um, Roman nose and black curly hair with a lot of kids in the pool, go and introduce yourself and say, I was on Zoe's show and he'll be pleased to see you. Cheyenne, Tasha, Hello. Jamie, thank you so much for joining me this morning. And it's lovely that you could actually come into the studio. Keep up the writing. That's, that's a great story. Thank you. You're welcome.